some sad news tonight. Former Purdue star Caleb Swanigan has passed away. The Indiana born forward was just 25 years old and his death comes as a shock to his teammates and to the university. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan spoke with the former students and media members who followed the team and Mike. What's the reaction tonight? So sad. I know it's a bit of disbelief. Swanigan worked tirelessly, tirelessly to develop himself into the Big Ten player of the year and an NBA draft pick. And he did so with the odds heavily stacked against him. This is not how stories are supposed to end, not ones that are inspirational. You know, unbelievably difficult upbringing. I mean, I had a father that uh, uh, not only was jailed for a period of time, but was very much absent in his life. Former Purdue standout Caleb Swanigan persevered where others may have stumbled. A guy that just uh, let his work ethic tell the tale. A former Mr. Basketball in Indiana, an NBA first round pick, a man affectionately known as Biggie. Guy that went from uh, as an eighth grader weighing well over 350 pounds to the kind of guy he was as a senior in high school is amazing. Alan Karpik is the publisher of goldenblack.com. Uh, this morning, uh, we knew a little bit before it was public. Swanigan passed away at just 25 years old. Purdue basketball tweeting out one word, devastating. Players like Travion Williams saying, always be you, you're more than good enough. Travion Williams wore jersey number 50 because of Caleb Swanigan. He was drafted by the Blazers, playing three seasons in the NBA. His time split between Portland and Sacramento. You know, you don't get many guys over the history of Purdue basketball, or for that matter, the Big Ten, that have 20, 20 games. In other words, 20 points, 20 rebounds. Caleb did that four times, I believe, at Purdue. Paige Walker witnessed those moments and heard the news this morning. Not good, cried a lot. She was a cheerleader during Swanigan's time at Purdue. Everybody loved him. Literally everybody loved him. He was such a good guy and we are so sad for his loss. Sad. That is how the story ends and all too soon. Purdue head coach Matt Painter called Swanigan, quote, a gentle soul who will be greatly missed. And so far, there's been no cause of death that has been announced. In studio, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Mike.